Uh, we're taking a look right now at the mayor, uh, Larry Langford, walking out of the courtroom. Ashley Nix is with him. Let's listen in. Yeah, might as well. All right, they're uh, going up to the microphones, and we'll be listening to what the mayor's reaction is to being found guilty. I might as well ask a question. They're with his wife, Melba, by his side. You know, I'm remarkably calm inside. I didn't think I would be. When Nick came back and said the jury had a verdict, what I heard in the courtroom, when the two main witnesses said they never talked to me, they never offered me anything, they never gave me anything, I do that the verdict would be not guilty, <laughs> what I know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this we all have our trials in life. Uh, I don't agree with the verdict, but it's not. Will you appeal? Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll appeal the case, yeah. sure. Langford, I've got a question. What impact is this decision going to have on the city's bid for the 2020 Olympics? <laughs> what impact Ma is it going to have on City Hall? <laughs> Mayor, what do you have to say to the citizens <laughs> of Birmingham? What, uh, what, do you, what do you say to the citizens of Birmingham? You all gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, it has been a pleasure serving in that setting. Look, I have had a long career in politics. This is the first time in my life I've ever been accused of anything. But the fact of the matter is, you know, when you came from where I came from to have risen to, to the heights that God has taken me, uh, the citizens of the Birmingham have been fantastic to me. Uh, I don't think that's going to change. Uh, I'm not the first person who's ever gone on trial for something that they didn't do. It happens. But if you expect to see me go crying and head drop, pick the wrong one. I, I'm not yet. Mayor, have you done anything to betray the trust of the people that voted you into office in Birmingham? Well, that's what the jury said. But have you done anything? If I, listen, let me say this to you very candidly. If I was guilty of what they said, and Bill Blunt made seven million dollars. You can bet your ass I would have had three and a half. I bet. <laughs> what would you say? Hold on a second. Let me ask you a question now. You, need, you can't accuse me of being too bright, bright on Monday. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. And then he makes seven million dollars, and I don't have three and a half of it. You know, the bottom line being is that the jury has spoken. What can I say? They, 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 How do you they, prepare yourself, Mayor? How do, you, how do you prepare yourself for the next chapter? Let me tell you, you see this later on. That's the only chapter that matters. Mayor. Uh, well, let, maybe, I, I know you got a question. I, I know I'm going to answer it. I'm going to answer it. Two things I want to say. I had two great attorneys. Um, we knew going into this case that uh, it was going to be a difficult deal with, the, with people. Uh, the world is mad right now. And you want to take it out on somebody? It was just my time at this point in my career and in my life. But at the end of the day, uh, what people think or may not think, well, it is important. The only, only real important thing is what she thinks and what she knows. Mm -hmm. And he is not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I that. Only in Alabama. No, no. Uh, no. <laughs> only in Alabama. A black man cannot get a fair trial. That's been for eons. And when you have a whole organization like the Justice Department, they are conspiring and have been working hard to hurt my husband over the years. Yes. So there is one redeeming factor. God is in the picture. Yes. And all those people who have done wrong, God will take care of that. And we're not going to worry about Mrs. it. Mrs. Y'all got to understand something. This didn't happen three years ago. The federal government has been antagonizing us since 1981 has been going on for years and years and years and so at the end of the day listen you, i think we have done remarkably well to have come this far um i'm proud of the work that we've been able to accomplish the only thing i want to see happen in birmingham at this point uh, we voted and raised people's taxes to build that dome stadium there's no reason for that stadium not to be built we raised a billion dollars to build new schools. There's no reason for every school in Birmingham not to be built. And so I hope that the new council and the new mayor would come into office. Uh, the groundwork for success for the city has already been laid. Simply follow the blueprint. Mike, you had a question? This, this passion mayor that we've known from you for 30 years might have played well to a jury. You did what your attorney told you. 
in hindsight or maybe in an appeal would we might see Larry Langford on a witness stand? Well, let, Mike, let me say this. I'm not going to blame this on my attorneys. We all talked about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was in a courtroom where on the last day, the FBI agent said the testimony from those people was that they had never talked to me about this. They had never given me anything. You, know, you heard that from their two key witnesses. There was no point in me getting on the stand to rehash what they've already said over and over again. But, you know, what's happened has happened. Uh, nobody likes a crybaby. Hey, at the end of the day, I shot my best shot. The jury ruled as it did. I got two competent attorneys. We will appeal it. But, and I will say, I, I, and I'm going to give credit. I know you don't want me to, but I'm going to do it anyway. You know, the government could have said, just take him on into custody right now. But they did. Look, folks. Tell me where a person can be sentenced to 805 years when the witnesses in the case said we never gave him anything. He never asked for anything. He never got a 805 years. That means that if I live to be 80, I got to die and come back 10 more times. You will hang around and be <laughs> defending? I'll be there. <laughs> Mayor, if you had a chance to say something to Bill Blunt and Al here, what would you say if you were in a room with those two gentlemen? You know, I was asked that question earlier. I want to be very candid with you. I understand why they made the plea agreement. I'm not, I don't, and I don't hate Al. We were friends for 30 years. When the whole United States government is coming at you, some people just do what they feel like they have to do. What we've done is pray for Bill and pray for Al, because let there be no misunderstanding. You know, you cannot profess religion on Monday and not practice it on Tuesday. That's right. Amen. That's right. For everyone who had a part in all of this, there is no vengeance. God will deal with everyone in his own time and in his own way. And I would be the biggest hypocrite on the planet. Uh, I'm going to do, I'll be teaching Bible study Monday morning. Uh, all this trial did was just end up with my Bible study class for two weeks. I know so, you so said you're right, not so a... But again, Mayor, how did you prepare yourself for this? You seen... You can't prepare yourself for this. Look, man, anybody who... Anybody who walks out here and says, well, you know, I ate a bowl of Cheerios and... Well, come on. You don't... You can't prepare for this. And I'm not going to be... You know, I've, uh, I've been straight with you guys all throughout uh, my whole political career. You may not have liked the answer, but if you asked me a question and, and that was my answer, you got it, and it was the straight answer. Nothing changes. Listen, am I looking forward to 805 years in jail? Only if you were willing to go with me for 805 <laughs> years. At the end of the day, my attorneys will appeal the case, and I'm comfortable and confident that uh, what God didn't deliver today, he'll deliver them. Who would you like to see become the next mayor of Birmingham? Yes, that question. You have my condolences. <laughs> yeah, do the best job. Look, let me say this to you. Every time you get into politics, you got to learn to take the criticism with the praise. It goes with the territory. Every decision that you make, somebody does not go agree with it. But if you're going to be mayor of a city and you ask for this kind of responsibility, you got to be strong enough to take the bitter with the sweet. If you are an elected official and you want to be a safe elected official, you'll never get anything done. We well, got to step out there. Were you uncomfortable about the dirty laundry that was put out in your defense? Oh, no, no. You know, I enjoyed seeing my whole life uh, laid out on the table. You know, uh, every <laughs> check I've ever written. Let me address that. You want to address I, that? Yes, I am uncomfortable. <laughs> Excuse me, just step back. I am uncomfortable that information was leaked and it could only have been leaked by one source. And you, and you think about it. I am uncomfortable that the media played a big part oh, in yeah. smearing my family's name and my husband's name. No, just, yeah. I am uncomfortable let me join her that in Alabama, you're gonna, black people will never get a fair trial. I am uncomfortable with the whole government conspiring to do the things they have done to us. And I am un uncomfortable with the way America allows this to happen and nothing gets done. There should be a total investigation of the Justice Department.